Fritz Chrysler's career in coaching began in 1922 after his graduation from the University of Chicago. It was there that his relationship with Amos Alonzo Stagg began, and the Stagg influence helped develop Chrysler into one of college football's legendary personalities. He left Chicago and Stagg after eight years of service and took head coaching jobs at Minnesota and Princeton. In 1938, he came to Michigan as head coach and for 10 years led Michigan in the tradition of Yost to the forefront of the college game. He led the Wolverines into the modern era and compiled a record of 71-16-3. His 1947 squad won the national championship and he was named the Football Writers Man of the Year for his efforts. Just three years after taking over as head coach, he also took on the duties of athletic director and his innovative genius as a coach and administrator began to be recognized across the country. In 1945, he founded the Two Platoon System and it's still being used today. He was a life member of the NCAA Rules Committee, and it was his influence and work on the committee that saw the two-point conversion rule come into being. His foresight moved him to enlarge Michigan Stadium to a seating capacity of more than 100,000. A few years ago, Bo had the opportunity to sit down with Fritz and reminisce about the legendary names and characters that helped mold college football to what it is today. And as is the case with most legendary figures, their achievements seem to get bigger and grander as the years pass. But in one instance, the great minds of football had to give way to practicality. Another interesting thing uh, is the goalposts. Well, we used to have them on the goal line, you know. Right. They were a little concerned about injuries, so we moved them back to the end line. Then we got, we got concerned about, well, we're having too many tie games. So we ought to do something about it. Well, Bernie Berman wanted first downs to count. And uh, somebody else wanted uh, the total yardage to count. But uh, I suggested we uh, widen the goalposts. So I had the Oregon people do some experimenting with it, and they came back at the next meeting. And the goalposts <clears throat> were 18 feet 6 inches, the crossbar. Mm -hmm. And uh, they recommended that they extend this to 26 feet. And that would be more field goals and uh, make, break some tie games. So the rules committee passed it. It was announced in the press, and my Lord, my phone began to ring, ring the next day from uh, uh, colleges and uh, lumber people. And uh, they say, we don't mill a two before 26 feet long. You can't do it. <laughs> Of course, in those days, you know, it was all two before. Two before, right. So we had to go back to the rules committee uh, <laughs> meeting and change it to 24, 23-4, which it is now. A quiet, classy guy and a cornerstone of Michigan's great tradition. With the death of Fritz Chrysler, Michigan has lost one of its great supporters and really great figureheads to its great tradition. And I know that it, it is a loss for you and your program and everybody at Michigan that's involved in the athletic program. Well, Fritz um, was a great um, institution in college football. He was a great uh, uh, innovative coach, great leader in athletics, the architect of the present rules that we play by. And uh, everywhere in the nation, uh, he was a tremendously, widely respected. Of course, not many of the old guys are around that really knew him, but just for example, um, every time that I've been with Bear Bryant, uh, he always asked me, how's Fritz? How's Fritz getting along? Uh, because uh, Bear and all the guys way back then uh, recognized Fritz as a really a genius in college coaching. As a coach, Bo, to you, what did Fritz mean? I mean, could he help you? He probably couldn't help you with game plans and things like that, but just having him around as a coach, what was the feeling? Well, you know, it's typical of uh, Michigan football and Ann Arbor. Uh, when I came in there to coach, uh, uh, Chrysler was living there. Benny Oosterbond still lives there. Harry Kipke was alive at that time. Um, great institutions in uh, Michigan football. Uh, Fritz, in 1969, when we uh, pulled the stunning upset of Ohio State, was in the hospital being treated for cancer. I'm sure at that time that he probably felt that he was not going to live too long. And he wrote a letter immediately after we had won the game. And it was a very, very touching, sentimental letter. 
not typical of the way Fritz would, uh, would express himself in a, in a football situation. And um, it meant a lot to um, Millie and me because she framed it and we still have that letter um, in our den. So um, it, uh, Fritz Chrysler is something special. It's sad when, when a gentleman like that has to go, but um, we've got to think of all the great things that he's done for college football and he's done for Michigan.